Hey guys, it's Haley Pomeroy here, author of the number one New York Times best-selling book, The Fast Metabolism Diet. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm here filming a few things today and my team had some really great questions. So first and foremost, you know, welcome to my home and Below this post, feel free to ask us anything. That's what we're here for. We don't always have all the answers, but we remain in awe of your body and curious about what the heck is going on. So go ahead and ask me a question. Could you please discuss body temperature as it relates to metabolism, thyroid function, adrenal function? I find myself colder than the other people in the room. Right. That's a great question. So you, you hit it right on the head. Usually body temperature and body temperature regulation has a thyroid component and an adrenal component. So the thyroid component regulates actually the basal body temperature of your body. So when you take, forgive my dog barking, for when you say, so welcome to my house. When you take your temperature, the, the basal body temperature can fluctuate a little bit. Um, you want to take it, ideally, if we're monitoring this, we take it while you're still laying in bed, and then we take it within an hour to an hour and a half from when you've wake, woken, and then we take it again as the sun starts to go down, and again before you go to bed. We should see very little fluctuation, um, but for the most part, stability. If this is off, a lot of times, if it's off early in the morning, we look a lot at... Um, the way the body converts T3, T4 into T3. If it's off later in the night, it's a little bit more about the receptor sites of the thyroid. So um, dry skin brushing, if it's off later at night, um, uh, a lot of digestive enzymes, if it's off earlier in the morning, and our T4, T3, that product specifically helps to work, convert T4 into T3 and also wash the receptor sites. But that's the way I kind of look at it from a thyroid perspective. If you're taking your body temperature and it stays pretty stable throughout the day, but you still feel cold, it's a lot more about adrenal and also the perception in the nervous system associated more with the brain. So we're looking at um, uh, uh, L-DOPA, uh, PAEA, those amino acid receptor sites and hormone receptor sites in the brain that allow us to um, have adaptogenic hormones. Most of the time when that's the case, people also crave sweets as the day gets darker in the night, as the autonomic nervous system shifts more from parasympathetic tones to, I mean, sympathetic tones to parasympathetic tones. They are the ones that crave the sweets in the evenings. Um, metabolism control has a lot of specific amino acid support to help stimulate that neurotransmitter uh, feed, that neurotransmitter um, receptor sites and those neurotransmitter balance. Um, another great way uh, to do that is um, the alternate nostril breathing, any of the things that can help kind of tonify those adrenals. I've got a lot of great adrenal tips. So if you feel like you're cold, but your body temperature is normal, it's a little more adrenal brain. If you feel like you're cold and your body temperature is lower than normal, it usually has a thyroid component. If it's lower in the morning, it's usually how the body converts T4 into T3. If it's lower in the evening, it's the receptor sites as the like almost like the mitt that catches the ball when you play baseball the receptor sites on the cell that receives the hormones that are that are effectively secreted to take up and go into the tissue and make hormones the magic that hormones do within the cell um, that's usually what we find so be sure to post your questions here i hope that helped and uh, always be in awe i am so fascinated by your metabolism